Man, y'all really wanted to know how to do this slide move right here, this glitchy, cheesy slide move that gets you over. It was at this moment that he knew. 99% of the times. I'm talking about if the defender even plays around the half court line area, you have a guaranteed crab every single time. No matter Send how good the lock is. They have to pick up that crab. And if they pick up the crab, you don't have to do the crab. You can just run and go fade. I'm on my 5'11 play shot. You see this build right here. I'm not released it yet. But this build is way more fun to use than my 6-1 PG, both versions. Send it. I have a 6-1 with a 99 three ball and a 96 three ball. It's better than both of them. This one doesn't even get a 92 three ball, right? Because I don't make my builds with a 92 three ball anymore. I told you guys that. And if you don't believe me, just watch the last video. You see clearly it's a 91. I will be releasing the build soon now. What makes this move so cheesy is it's faster than the real Asta. You can speed boost out of it better than the real Asta. It does not get ripped. And even Send when you it. mess up on the move, like you see me right there, it's always going to give you a three, no matter what, all right? There's some downsides to moves that I'll get to later on in this video after I teach you how to do it. But what makes this move so cheesy is the defender cannot play way above the three-point line. If they even hover around it. and you know how to dribble, it's over with. If you want to know how to dribble, watch my dribble tutorials. You'll become a dribble don in one day. I promise you, if you really want to. Now, you see me, I'm cooking up. They got to guard me differently. But you know me, sometimes... Yeah. Now, obviously, if you've seen me doing it in the stage on my 5.11, you guarantee that it's even easier to do in the park. And don't worry, this move also works on current gen. For my current gen brothers that watch the Yardman 2.0 on my other channel, it works on current gen. This is my 6.4 with a 92 acceleration. So imagine if you have a build with a 95 acceleration, right? Look at this. Boom. I got it, but I just didn't green the shot. But it worked. Run up the like button. Hey, y'all been asking me for the crab move. Y'all been asking me. Y'all been bugging me for it. So I'm gonna honor, I'm gonna honor your request. All I ask for is to hit the like button because it does help our channel grow. I'm gonna show you guys the most OP move in this game that just made this game 10 times more fun for me. Feels like the old 2K, something arcadic, something fun because we're not trying to live our hoop dreams on 2K, right? So we're playing the video game to have fun. All right, that's the name of the game. It's a video game at the end of the day. No matter how realistic you made it, it's always going to be a video game. So with that being said, we're looking for some cheese. We're looking for some stuff to make make the game fun, you know, fast paid. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys the fake Asta. Because the first person I ever seen do this was Adore Dollar. My boy, my brother, Adore Dollar. Shout out to Adore Dollar, man. Go check him out. He's Twitch. One of the most comp um, players in this whole 2K community. Um, used to run with him in the past. A couple videos with him, I think. <laughs> definitely different we haven't lost a game ever me and him running together i don't know if he was the creator of the move i know that there was somebody in the pro-am leagues that created the move so shout out to him i don't know who it is but maybe y'all do but guess what time to show you guys how to do the move all right to do this move i do believe you need like an 80 ball handle i think i could be wrong you do have to have a moving crossover that is I think it works for anyone, but I use James Harden for the most part. Right now, I've been using something different, but James Harden is what I learned how to do to move on. That's the real Asa slide, even though I have Luka Doncic step back on. This is what I like to call the dollar slide, all right? Now, I know my boy Dollar probably didn't make the move, but guess what? John Cena didn't make the five-knuckle shuffle, but who made it famous? You see, a lot of y'all don't even know that. Y'all thought John Cena made the You Can't See Me, but it really wasn't him. He learned that. And he made it famous. Now, let me show you guys how to do the dollar slide for simple terms. I like the name. It has a ring to it. And it gives my boy Dollar some recognition. Shout out to whoever made the move, though. It's really simple. I'm going to have it replaying over and over so you guys can see the blueprint of it. It's the easiest move in the game. Better than the real Asa slide. You don't even need to use the real Asa slide anymore. Use whatever you want to move a step back. Now, all you see me do, if you really pay attention to the controller, is I'm running in a downhill animation like I'm going to do the real Asa slide or I'm going to do a basic one. Like going pretty much vertical or diagonal however you want to take it then i cut diagonally down like a knife with my left stick i let go of r2 you gotta let go of r2 you don't have to do the move while holding r2 like when you're running down court you don't have to hold r2 but it just gives you a more consistent faster animation because you have a better running start and you have to kind of play around with it because you're not going to get the perfect animation every time even when you perfect the animation in the pro-am sometimes you're going to get the messed up version and guess what it's going to give you a little sloppy animation, but you can still shoot off of it. Now, right here, you can see I speed boost out of the move. And it's one of the fastest speed boosts. And you can stop mid-combo and you can hit it again. It's in It really is a cheesy move because it really doesn't drain your adrenaline. Like, especially in the park where the courts are smaller than the prime. When you get past half court, you can just start your running animation from behind the half court line. And then hit the move. 
behind the defender and crab them at the three-point line. And if it's not there, if you don't feel like you're, it's going to give you the three-pointer, you can literally just go ahead and keep running or you can Steve Francis the other way or you can just keep running towards the rim. It's, it's unguardable. I'm just going to put it like that. Only one lock I've ever seen even rip it one time and it's because I was stubborn trying to get it. But you're not going to be like me trying to get it every play. But that's how I play the game. I try to have fun with the game. And sometimes I do it by just doing things that are not wise, right? But guess what? Somebody that is going to take this game really serious is not going to try to get it every play. They're just going to add it in their bag for every play, as in they're not going to try to crab every play, but they're going to try to hit the move to confuse a defender. And if the defender tries to pick up the crab, you don't even have to hit it. Just keep running and hit the fade. You can hit the vertical fade, or you can just keep running to the wing and try to fade right there. Or you can speed boost back from the wing up top Hit a pullback, run, and crab them again. And if the crab's not there, guess what? You have infinite amount of options. And when the defenders start seeing you do this, they're going to try to help out from the corners, and you have free dots. Now, you can do this anywhere on the court as long as you're not in the corner. So from the wings, you can do it, and I'll show you guys right now. But virtually, it's the same thing. I'm not going to really try to break it down too much because it's just running, getting a running animation, and pulling the left stick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand but you have to let go of R2. That's the kind of messed up version. Don't worry, you're gonna get that sometimes. That's a good version. And when you get that messed up version, don't be afraid to shoot it. Cause I'm shooting it off any animation that's, it gives me a crab, I'm shooting it. Because guess what, it feels the same. It, it, I will say this, do not, do not come out here and think that it's gonna give you the same shot timing. It's gonna give you a way more sped up shot timing. And last night it was rough for me, like trying to do it in the stage because my boy I Rush had on floor general on my build. Like he was running floor for me for the first time since I have a 91 three ball. We're like, how, how cheesy can it be with this? Bad idea because it sped up my jump shot so fast. I have a 91 three ball on this build. And with his floor, it was a 93 because he was running silver floor and I had boost. It made it really fast and I literally could not shoot. I'm about to show you guys some clips of it. I would say if you're gonna do this move, do not have no floor general being ran for you. And if you're on early timing and it's still too fast for you, go to late timing and it should be good for you. I'm on early timing. So with floor general and a 5'11 build that already has one of the fastest jump shot speeds, it's almost impossible to green when you're literally getting boost from floor, from the sleeve, from buying boost. So all I did was just keep the, the sleeve and regular boost. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. First stage game of the night, 500 court. The guard was pretty decent but it is nothing that we couldn't beat, right? I'm trying to hit the move and immediately I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is a bad idea because I shot a very late and I have not shot a very late in months when it comes to even barely smothered shots. Now, obviously once in a blue moon, you might shoot a very late on a bad shot or something, but I know my shot and I know that the shots that I was shooting in this first game, I could have easily hit like right here, boom, straight to very late. I was like, nope. Now when you crab somebody, your shot gets sped up. So you don't need it to be faster than it originally is when it's already sped up. So I would just say, do not have your opponent running floor general for you if you are gonna use this. And I use early timing, so. And on a 5.11 play shot, you have a extremely fast jump shot speed, faster than usual. This move will speed up your jump shot, all right? Late timing probably is perfect for a lot of y'all. Early is the best for me. I'm just telling you, you don't make it worse. Now this was the game right after that. And my boy T did not take off floor, we forgot. Honestly, when we're in the game and locked in, you're like, you're, you don't remember things sometimes. All right. It's just, it just happens as we get older. My boy T is approaching 20 years old. He's approaching the old head stage, the beginning of the old head stage. Y'all man gaming is closing out the old head stage. You see right here, I shoot a late. I had not shot a late at all ever when I was doing this move. All right. So I knew the change had to be because of floor. And as soon as he took it off, you're going to see what happened later on in the night in some more videos. All right. Also with this new and improved, what I like to call jump shot 98 base, I had some different releases on. So it was double trouble, but y'all know y'all man game it don't care. As you can clearly see there's no Oscar Robertson in that release. I don't care though. You know, I jump on the game to have fun. I jump on the game to make some stuff to see what can I, what can I do to improve the game and make the game more fun, not only for me, but for the GVO family and those that are watching my videos. So that's why I have a 5.11 out here with using a base that nobody uses and doing stuff that you really don't see people doing because that's what's fun to me. All right, anyway, hopefully you guys, you know, learn how to do the move because it's really easy to do. And when you know 
how to do the move and you actually execute it in the middle of a game or in every possession of the game, guess what? You're going to be like, man, this move just made this game more fun for me. Even, even the people that want realism, like I just want a realistic game. I want to turn on the video game and be in real life. Like that doesn't make any sense. It's a video game. You can do it too and it's going to be fun. So stop hating. Jump off the video game and go to the YMCA, bro. 2K really needs to make two game modes, one for the realistic hunters and one for the arcade cheesers like myself. It is big up on the stuff. I'm big up on my don't know. Do you want to don't know the thing already? Y'all man gaming? Gone.